Here, learn it. In our previous lecture, we have completed a uh, load calculation for beam design. Now, if you new here, you can watch our previous lecture from our playlist. Now, uh, here we have Excel sheet for calculating moment coefficient, and here uh, we are taking moment coefficient, ACI moment coefficient. Okay, so uh, we have uh, given value here. And this is for 2 span this is for more than 2 span we all know about it so for uh, i mean as uh, with respect to that value i have created a excel now what we'll do actually uh, from that excel we have to calculate our moment and share okay so uh, how i'll do it actually uh, this value is not 100 percent accurate uh, as like fm uh, analysis method uh, when we use software we get accurate value so i request you to uh, design a building using software we have uh, more course related it now what we'll do actually I'll go to as as per our uh, plan we have two beam we have two beam so I will go for two beam okay for two span actually and if you have only single span you have to provide here the length and uh, load total load actually you have to provide a total load and more than two span also same procedure are same and uh for uh two span you have to select from here which types of support you have a spindle column or discontinuous int okay so uh, as we have column connected now uh i will take that portion that one and if you have uh, more than two span so how much span you have to provide here let's say you have a three span you have four span you have five span you have to provide here you have uh, actually this this value should be more than three because uh, more than a three span more than two span sorry it, this value should be three or more because uh, we will use that on for more than two span okay and the procedure are same i'll go for span two now we need w and ln so already we know the ln for uh left portion is 15.67 we all know here 15.67 and uh, we'll go for that one that is 9 feet and 10 inch this length is 9 feet 10 inch here i'll provide 9.833 clear done and we need to calculate now w so to calculate w i'll go to here first of all actually uh, i will use that option from ax in usd method if you want to use wsd or usd you can select it so i will uh, design that beam as per usd method so from here what should be the dead load and what should be the live load clear now our dead load total dead load and live load have to provide for a particular beam i'll go here and what was our total dead load total dead load was 673.5 plus 432 let's say 433 this is a total dead load load per feet okay i'll go to excel i'll provide that value here again i'll go for live load 
So what will be the live load? Here is our live load. Two hundred and three on four. Done. So see uh, here, this is our total load in LB per feet, and here our total load in keep per feet. So I'll copy it. I'll paste it here as a value, and I'll copy this load. I'll come here for spend two, and here I'll provide that value as a okay. I'll come here, I'll copy it, I'll come to spend two, and here I'll paste it done. Now for right side, right, right side portion. Uh, what is the value of w i'll come here and here our uh, total this is a total dead dot copy it paste it here here is a total live load paste it here done just copy it, paste it here as a value, then copy that and go to here. Okay, three on six. So after completing that, see we are ready to. Uh, I mean, we are we are getting our value here. This is our maximum. How this Excel are working? it's taking maximum negative value and it's taking maximum positive value clear uh, this is for the middle portion and this is for the middle portion so uh, for that middle portion it's getting maximum um, from uh, both of them is taking the maximum and for negative we, we have four portion of negative so uh, to avoid complexity I have taken the maximum on to design our beam and here share for share this is the value of share actually how i have calculated the equation of share using manual design procedure from our structural analysis and design i have uh, formulated a formula empirical formula here and uh, i'm going to design for that value clear so when everything is okay our maximum share is here maximum share we need three value to design a beam we know the section 10 into 15 we know the moment maximum uh, moment minimum and uh, maximum positive moment maximum negative moment i mean positive moment it me in mid span and uh, maximum negative moment in support and share maximum share in support obviously share are always in support so uh, we are uh, ready to design our beam so in our next lecture we'll design a beam perfectly so thank you thank you very much